Hello everyone, today we're working on an Eaton Fuller Road Ranger transmission and we've got an input shaft, got some wear on it, so we're going to show you how to replace that input shaft and the reason we're put, replacing this input shaft is we have wear up here on the very snout of it where it rests in the pilot bearing and the flywheel. We've got about 20,000 cinch wear on this up here so it's not sitting true and being supported properly in that, that pilot bearing. So we're going to start, uh, this is what the new shaft looks like, it comes out of the front of the transmission. Uh, a couple snap rings we got to pop out and I'll replace the bearing in there as well. What we already have done is we've taken the yoke off here, the shift yoke for the uh, clutch for the throw out bearing. So that's out of the way. And we've taken out the bolts for this, uh, this front housing. And what we have here is we've got a snap ring that we're going to take out so we can get this bearing off the shaft. And I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll do the next step. Get back with you on that. Okay, we've got the snap ring off. That was up here holding that bearing on. And what we're going to do is try and pop that bearing off the front. Sometimes easier said than done. We might have to pull that front housing and get that done. There she comes. She's coming out. It's kind of a stubborn one in the bore, but there she comes. All right, get that bearing out, and then there's a snap ring. We've got to get there's a spacer in there. We got to get out. And then there's a snap ring right inside here we got to get out. Once we get that snap ring out, that'll free up that shaft to come loose. So we'll pop that out and we'll get back with you. Okay, take that snap ring out. We're using a small screwdriver and you can just pop it out. Actually, two screwdrivers would be better than one because you can work your way around with them. And there comes that snap ring. Once that snap ring's out, we can pull that shaft out. And then we can go ahead and pop in the new one. And we've got some new snap rings in our kit. And actually, I think before we do that, we're going to clean up the surface area here. So we'll get back with you on that. Okay, we've got the new input shaft ready to go in. Very simple, slide it in. And you pop in your new snap ring. And again, use the screwdrivers to pop that on in. They like to bounce around a little bit as you're going back in. Come on. There she goes. All right. Well, that's seated in there, it can't come out. Okay, we got the shaft in, the snap ring in. Important piece, don't forget to put the spacer in before you put the bearing on. That slips over the snout of the shaft and goes up against that, uh, by that snap ring. And then your bearing goes in. And the bearing can be kind of a bear to get in sometimes. So we'll go ahead and pop that bearing in, we'll get back. Okay, make sure the bearing's fully seated in there until you get uh, the groove exposed for the snap ring. And the bearing will be sucked up tight against the uh, transmission case. And go ahead and pop on that snap ring. And make sure it's seated in the groove all the way around. Once you've got that, then you're ready to put this on and make sure that your oil hole is lined up here. I believe that's an oil drain back hole. And uh, we can pop that back on. And when you put your bolts in, make sure you pop some blue Loctite on them. Mm. 
Then we can torque them down and then the next thing will be to put the fork back in. And that's pretty much it for putting a new input shaft in a semi truck. It's a 13 speed and uh, gives you some idea how to do it if you've never done it. So thanks for watching my video. I'd like to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of products. Uh, for our motor oils for gasoline engines, we have the OE oil, which is good for 3,000 miles, three months, uh, or uh, original equipment during intervals out to 7,500 miles. Um, the next product that we have is the XL line, which is 10,000 miles or six months. And we also have the Signature Series, which is our premium line. And that line uh, has been out since 1972, so you're looking at 43 years of 25,000 mile drain intervals, or 12 months. And those are the three options that we offer for drain intervals for what each individual is comfortable with. And I invite you to take a look at them. Uh, they'll outperform any oils out there, bar none. So thank you for looking. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972. And you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities, and that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.